The whole situation with Christy is just devastating. It's definitely the right decision for her to go home. Next stop, Pamia at Greenland. About 1,500 miles. Hopefully we can get there in about 10 days or so. Call 14. 14. Let's not call 14. So this will be the last we see land for a little while. Good. Good friends. Finally, after all the trials and tribulations, we are not stopping again until we get to Greenland. I prefer the polar regions because they're more difficult. It's hard to get there, it's cold, there's icebergs, it's uncharted, polar bears will eat your face. I prefer a more difficult, dangerous variation of exploration because it's more interesting. The closer you become to dying in some ways, the more alive you become. You fall off at nighttime, you're dead. <laughs> it's true. I'm on watch with Nick, and it's the middle of the night, maybe 2, 3 in the morning, and I start feeling something. I got a temperature of 104 degrees. I go down to my cabin after watch, and it just gets oh, worse. Oh, motherfucking God damn it. Really? <laughs> Can I get a break around here? Just please, please, just one little break, like one something, something. Uh, it's been brutal, brutal expedition so far. Just have a couple questions here for your vessel. Uh, how many uh, crew on board today? Uh, there are six of us on board. Last port of call was Lunenburg. We are heading to Pamiet, Greenland. Zero two, going back channel one six zero. Oh. Okay, Spader zero two. You have a nice day and a pleasant uh, voyage. Well, I'm texting a doctor. This will be another twenty four hours. We'll be away from the land, pretty much. Yeah. And I'm still feeling like fucking shit. Sorry, some of the metal. It's like I calibrated it for you, 97. Yeah, that's, 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 I'm coming down. I was at 102 and a half last night, so I'm definitely in the mouth. Nigga was reading like 104 on my head, but it can't be right. Whatever it was, came and went for the most part. I just need a little bit of recovery time. At uh, some point, later today, I'll probably get back on watch. Ah, yeah, we're doing pretty well without you. We don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Until we do, you know. <laughs> the Labrador Sea is a body of water between Canada and Greenland. And now here we are going around Newfoundland trying to cross this horrible body of water. The system we've been seeing, well, it didn't look like a system. It just looked like some fucking winds, but it looks like it's developing into some proper low pressure. It could be a gale. We're going to get another forecast in another four and a half hours or so. Well, the good news is all four forecasts are agreeing with each other. Bad news is, it's gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> nice dark colors. It's a good solid 40 up there. We'll be right in the heart of, right in the thick of some really good, nasty 40 knot shite. So we got the drogue out and ready. We're gonna deploy the drogue initially, just to slow the boat down. And then we're gonna have to heave too. Probably have to do both. And we're gonna have to stay south and we're just gonna have to let it pass. A drogue is like a small parachute. You drag it behind your boat to slow you down. Bowlins, Christian. Bowlins. The time Bowlins. All right. This way to our improper way is just nothing. It's gonna get bigger. It's 11 next to the pie. Yeah. 
storm died down as all storms do eventually and finally we see our first iceberg and it's always a huge moment on any arctic expedition because you're there it's real it's right there and icebergs are just gorgeous they're nature's sculptures we had a lot of problems getting there but now you're in greenland now you're there all right let's try to back onto that fucker see what happens Yes, I need your passport, Nick, or else they will kick you out of the country, jail you, and make you eat a walrus butt. Where's this happy-go-lucky captain been for the last fucking ten days? <laughs> you put a chunk of an iceberg in a glass, that water has been frozen for 10,000 years, if not longer. And it's constantly cracking and popping, releasing 10,000-year-old air into your whiskey. I'm going to hold it really still <laughs> All right, guys, to Greenland. Greenland, it, finally. It was very easy this year, wasn't it? <laughs> Damn it. I don't want to make Phineas do stuff. Aha! Do it again. Pour it again. One more time. More emotion. Well, if you made it this far, please support us at oceanresearchproject.org, our Patreon, or click the link below.